welcome to a virtual demonstration of Nimble. I am Anusha and today I am going to be showcasing a recipe end-to-end -end, uh, on Nimble. Uh, so Nimble is a robot chef that can help anyone eat freshly cooked food without the effort. A lot of us these days do not have the time or the mind space uh, to cook fresh food every day. Some of us probably might not even know how to cook. So our goal through Nimble is to put a private chef in everyone's kitchens so you can still have access to healthy, wholesome meals. Towards the end, we'll be showing you how the recipe turns out. So if you're curious to know how robot food actually looks, do stay on until the end. And we're also giving out a special discount code for those of you who stick around. So do stay tuned. Before we get into the demo, let me give you a quick three second rundown of how Nimble cooks. So you start off by selecting a recipe from here. Uh, and this is going to tell you exactly what ingredients go into it. Uh, you then chop up and load them into these containers over here. Um, spices go on top of here in form of spice pods. Uh, and there's oil and water provision as well here. Um, and this is an induction bottom that acts as the heat source for the food to be cooked. And this is a pan with an attached stirrer that sits on top of it. So at the right time and temperature, things fall into the pan, cook through and the recipe is ready for you. So how does Nimble cook? Nimble cooks with computer vision, which is a form of artificial intelligence. So how a human chef cooks by actually looking at the food. Similarly, Nimble looks for visual cues from the pan. So it looks for change in color, it looks for change in size, it looks at the texture and the doneness of the food. So if the onions are brown enough in the pan, then it knows that it's time to add in the next ingredient. Today we're going to be making a penne arabiata. Arabiata is a spicier cousin of the regular marinara tomato sauce pasta. Traditionally, pasta is cooked in a way where the pasta is boiled separately. The sauce is made from scratch separately and then you combine them together. But for Nimble, our culinary team actually re-engineers each recipe for maximum taste and speed. So we will start off with the sauce first from scratch and then the raw pasta goes in and that's how the pasta is going to be cooked. So we start off by selecting a recipe. Um, I'm selecting penne arabiata from the list here. As you can see, you can go for up to one to four servings. We're selecting two servings today. And once you scroll down, it's going to show you exactly what are the different ingredients that go into each of the containers. So we're not necessarily limited by four ingredients. Uh, we combine multiple ingredients in a single container. You also get detailed instructions on how to prep each of these ingredients. So for example, if you see here, this shows that yellow bell pepper needs to be sliced into thin strips. Um, whereas in the case of zucchini, it needs to be sliced into half moons. So Nimble also doubles up as a weighing scale. So here I'm putting the container on the top uh, and I'm going to be measuring out exactly the amount of pasta that's needed for the recipe. So as you can see, as I'm dropping the pasta in, the weighing measure here is also changing. Similarly, we fill out all the four different containers here. Uh, and now let's slot them in. So as you can see, there's a clear indication of A, B, C and D. Uh, and you basically just place these containers on the platform and just slide them in. Uh, it's as simple as that. So now let's move on to the spices, which is the next step. So I'm following the instructions given here to load the spices into their respective holders. So as you can see, there are six slots designated for this. Uh, we have sugar, chili flakes, salt, dried herb mix, black pepper powder and parmesan cheese. And let's shut the spice tray. So when it comes to the spices, you can either purchase the spices from us or you can refill it on your own. All these spice pods are refillable. So the next step here is to load in the oil and water. Basically, you just fill in oil and water in these respective containers, place them onto this tray and then just slide them in. And the next part of this is making sure that our pan and stirrer are in place. So if you see this, the pan is actually divided into three parts, the pan, the stirrer ring and the spatula. Uh, and as you can see, all of them can be detached individually. All of them are dishwasher friendly as well. Essentially, you place the spatula in into the stirrer, put it on top of the pan, place it on the induction and use this magnetic connector over here to connect it. 
So this is a handy checklist that comes up to make sure that you've set up everything and you're good to proceed. So it's asking you to make sure that the water is filled up to the brim, that the oil is fine and that you've connected the spatula correctly and that you've placed the pan on the stove top. So we've done all of these things. So let's just check it. So now here there's an important option. You can either start cooking right away or you can schedule the recipe to start for some time in the future. The main uh, advantage of scheduling something is that uh, let's say you you have some free time around say in the evening you want to just finish up your prep and then so you finish loading up everything but you only want dinner to be cooked at around seven you can essentially do that we're going to be selecting the cook now option so let's hit cook and let's go ahead so what you see here is actually a time lapse of the uh, cooking happening real time uh, with some emphasis on all the important steps that happen as the water dispenses from here, the spices come up or the main ingredient containers falling in. So this is essentially how the entire cooking happens. There's a lot of stirring, like a lot of um, intelligent decisions being made as we watch this uh, based on what Nimble sees based on the computer vision. So as you can see here, the recipe is done cooking. Once it's done, uh, I also got a notification saying that the food is done. Uh, and there's also an option for you to rate uh, how it turned out on a scale of one to five in terms of taste. So now let's get to tasting. Uh, as you can see, the pasta is al dente. It's all separate. Uh, and the vegetables seem to be well cooked. Let's dig in. I wish you could smell this right now. The veggies are cooked, but still have that little bit of crunch. And as you can see, the pasta is quite al dente as well. In case you're wondering about how hard this is to clean up, uh, everything that comes in contact with the f uh, with food, including your the containers, the pan, everything is dishwasher friendly. So you can then just like, after you're done cooking, throw them in the dishwasher. And everything that comes in contact with food that's not dishwasher friendly can always be wiped down with the kitchen towel. So if you're actually curious to taste the food for yourself, we do have real life demonstrations in the Bay Area and California, uh, where you can come pop by, try out um, and taste the food. So yeah, thank you so much for joining us today and for staying on until the end. Um, we are taking pre-orders now and as promised, using the coupon code EARLYBIRD50 gives you 50% off on the pre-order fee. So go ahead and try it out. We can't wait to welcome you to the Nimble community. Bye. <laughs>